In Ottawa, the voting marathon rolls on. Members of Parliament spent the day, the entire day, in the House of Commons. All last night, too. They're working their way through hundreds of amendments to the government's omnibus budget bill. And while it's made for some light moments, as the CBC's Laurie Graham explains, underneath it all affects you. Laurie. Peter, when most people go to bed, they don't get up until morning, but Canada's MPs didn't go to bed, and they've been up on their feet more than 100 times. They went in when it was dark, and as day broke, what appeared to be calm and peaceful outside Parliament Hill was anything but inside. We got to tolerate it. We got 159 votes. Every vote takes time, and time is taking a toll. Staff are forgetting to turn off their mics. Well, I'm going home to sleep. I need some sleep. But with almost 900 amendments, they have miles to go before they sleep. Some can't wait. They've just given in. Others refuse to give up, using every procedural rule in the book. He did not rise. He came in late. You have to stand up for your vote, and the Prime Minister did not stand up. So it happens that the Prime Minister sits right in front of me. And beside and me. And in this vote, in fact, he was one of the people who yelled no. The Conservatives are showing signs of frustration. We have a majority government. We're elected to move forward. We have an economic plan. And we're going to implement the economic plan. But many Canadians say they didn't know the action plan would modify environmental protection laws. We're talking about a system of environmental protection that has been built up over decades that he's going to tear down make wide sweeping changes to employment insurance. And now these guys are saying, well, we can do this unilaterally without any consultation. Or lump changes to natural resources, seniors pensions, and the Fisheries Act into the 425 page budget document. I think it's about time that people stand up and uh, do what they have to do. That's exactly what the opposition says it's trying to do. It's not very um, uh, revolutionary uh, and but it's the best we can do. If we had simply allowed this government to pass this bill without any inconvenience at all, the lesson they would have taken away and Canadians would have taken away is that Parliament is less important than it really is. When all is said and done, nothing in the original bill will change. And soon, Peter, C-38 will become law. All right, Laurie, thanks very much. Laurie Graham in Ottawa.